right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure this sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been So here we go, round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's gonna be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Tags him with the left hand. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Don't All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice punch there. Yes, he is all about that left kick to the body. Whips on the right hand. And he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his head popping back every time it lands. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold, know when, when to hold. Him. Yep, there absolutely. You go. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. You got a little experience with that. Yes, right? I do. Oh. oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Left hand punch to the clinch. Yes. 
looping left hand misses the target. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Straight punch lands with so much power. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Ten seconds to go in round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round is underway. Okay, Your thoughts on what two. we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. What a punch. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, huge block. Let's go. Get in there. Goes back to that left kick once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Liver kick. Oh, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good punch. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Beautiful strike. And they separate. Looking to land the right just out of range. What a beautiful oh, double leg takedown is good. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. 
What does he do to try to advance himself? Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Great punch. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's going the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the dive to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking fits with unbelievable wrestling. Single collar tie there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point. Every step changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single back to a high punch. Oh! All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. He passes the half. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. All right, working inside the close guard now, and the horn sounds on round two. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice strike. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling 
and he will continue to attack him over and over again. Now into his mount. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful leg kick throw. Choi's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. All right, single collar tie now. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice hammer fist. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Good solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. That's a good strike there by Shore. Misses again with a right punch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nice hammer fist. Aren't right, you good ground and pound by him here? Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Good punch, Lance. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's how you defend the single leg. And they separate. But that punch, no good. How about that shin? Joy gets caught by that straight hand. Ooh, what a punch. He might be out. He's looking to land the right just what out of range. That was an amazing takedown. 
All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, and that one snapped ahead back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what 